This tutorial is stupid, warning you in advance. It's short and worthless and pointless, just like everything else in the world. Uh oh. Mandy Moore and her loving machine, people of the world, friends. Uh oh. Okay, so. What we're gonna do is be in standard tuning Loving Machine by TV Girl. This is like a keyboard song. So we're just gonna do our best to make it work on guitar. Would you, we're gonna, okay. Put your pinky on the fifth fret of the second string from the bottom. Put your middle finger on the fourth fret of the third string from the bottom. Put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the top. And then have your pointer finger hanging out. It's gonna do a little bit of moving. First thing, get these, get these fingers all ready. Then put your pointer finger on the third fret of the top string and play the top string with your thumb. I don't use a pick for this song. I just use my fingers and thumb. So you play the top string, then move your pointer finger to the third fret of the second string from the top and play that note with your thumb. So we've got bow, bow, fantastic job. Then. With these three fingers, pointer, middle, and ring, you're gonna play second from the bottom, third from the bottom, and third from the top. This is a C major seven chord right here. Then, okay, so look, so far we've got bow, bow, bow. Not too bad, right? It goes thumb, thumb, fingers, play it with me. One, two, three, thumb, thumb, fingers, fantastic. Then, get rid of every finger except for your pinky. And your pinky, you're gonna slide it over one fret. So it's on six of the second string from the bottom. Then using just two fingers, you're gonna play second string from the bottom and third string from the bottom. Like that. So check this out. We've got three, three fingers, boom. Three, three, bow, bow. Bong, bong, bang, bong. We're gonna call that the main riff. Let's play that main riff four times in a row. Get ready. Get that chord ready. One, two, here we go. Five, six, seven. Bow, 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 bow. Boom, boom, bow, bow. Halfway there. Boom. Four, fantastic job. Then we go into the second part of the verse. You're gonna play a D minor seven chord. That's pointer finger on the first fret of the bottom two strings. You just mash your pointer finger down onto the first fret of the bottom two strings. Middle finger plays the second fret on the third string from the bottom. Your thumb is gonna play the third string from the top open. And then your fingers play the bottom three strings twice. So that's like boom. Ba, ba. Then play the open D string, the third string from the top again. And then play the third fret on the top string by itself. Then you're gonna play the second, third, and fourth strings from the bottom with your fingers twice. This is like a G chord. We're going from like a D minor seven to a G. So we go bow, ga, ga, ba, boom. Okay, fine, I hit my guitar too hard. It's, here's the thing. This part of the song, I don't think the, what we're doing right now sounds all that much like the keyboard part, but I can't be bothered to care about you or your family or your feelings or the things that you choose to do or the things you choose to respect or hate or I have to ch Then we go back to the main riff two times. Boom, 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 boom. And that's how you play the verse. Let's play the whole verse all the way through. So the main riff, quattro times, then that little D minor seven, a G thing, back to the main riff twice. One, two, nice and slow. Boom, boom, go, go. Three, three, boom, boom. Two more times. Boom, boom, here we go. Fantastic job. That's the verse. After you play the verse all the way through, you just do the exact same thing again and play the second verse exactly the same as the first. Then we go into the chorus. 
for the chorus, go back to the D minor seven chord. We're gonna play the bottom four strings. You can strum it if you want. What I like to do is just grab onto those bottom four and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and. So that's slow, 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 fast, fast. Then go back to that G chord where you have the third fret on the top string, thumb is playing the top string, and then your fingers are playing the second, third, and fourth strings from the bottom open. And we go one, two, three, four. So we're going slow, 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 fast, fast, boom, boom, boom. do that pattern four times in a row. Then we play the main riff four more times for the interlude of the song. Then we do a whole nother verse. I hate everything about the way this tutorial is going. I don't like the way that I, I do think my hair looks fine. I think that this shirt and this blue sweatshirt thing are pretty good but other everything about my personality is bad. You do the whole verse over again then you do the whole chorus again then there's a flute solo and you just play you just play the verse again for the flute solo and then when you're done with the song you just play the G note that third fret on the top string and that's it. I think that's all we're doing today guys. I don't know. I'm not feeling this. I mean, I think that main riff is fun to play. Even though this is the worst tutorial I've ever made, would you guys pretend it's the best tutorial I've ever made? I would really appreciate it.